Hey everyone, I'm Sarah Lynn, otherwise known as the Domestic Geek on Coral TV. If you're not familiar with our channel, Coral is a place where you can find tips, tricks, and shortcuts on everything from food to fashion to finance, and of course, a whole lot of fun. Today, I'm gonna have some fun by showing you five foods you probably didn't know you could grate. Meet the trusty box grater. Now, I know there are a number of different tools on the market that promise to pulverize your food for you, but this guy is tried, tested, and true. And it's good for so much more than just shredding your cheese. First up, tomatoes. Tomatoes are actually a breeze to grate, and the pulp left behind is perfect for salsas, soups, and pasta sauces. You start by cutting the top off. Then, it's just a matter of grating it up. Once you're done, all you have left behind is the skin. This is perfect to add to vegetable stocks. And what you have left in your plate is a beautiful tomato pulp that is a great alternative to peeling your tomatoes and can go in any sort of sauce. Next, the hard-boiled egg. Shredded egg is great for adding a protein punch to everything from salads to sandwiches to pastas, even pizza. Now I didn't say it wasn't gonna be messy. Now we know potatoes are great for grating, but what about our other root vegetables? Sweet potatoes, parsnips, carrots, they're all great gratables. After a little elbow grease, you'll have uh, some beautiful grated root vegetables. These are amazing in a roasty, but just make sure you're squeezing the water out in a cheesecloth before you put them in the pan. If you wanna take your steak to the next level, try topping it with a tablespoon of grated butter. This is also great if you're making pastry dough. Finally, you can use grated butter if your butter is too cold to spread on toast. Now, the one trick to doing this is to make sure your butter is extra, extra cold. Otherwise, you're gonna end up with nothing but a greasy mess on your box grater. Ta-da! Doesn't that look delicious? It's like little butter ribbons. And last, but certainly not least, in our list of things that are great to grate, frozen bananas. Now the trick here is to freeze them when they're extra ripe so you get an extra sweet treat. These are great for your cereal, your yogurt, your oatmeal in the morning, or as a delicious low calorie dessert. Now we're gonna turn these delicious banana shavings into that dessert. You can put your frozen banana in a pretty parfait glass, top it with a little whipped cream, and just a drizzle of chocolate sauce, and you have the most delicious dessert ever. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. Hopefully these great grating tips have inspired you to pull your box grater out from inside the cupboard. If you want a really great technique for preventing your cheese from sticking to your box grater, click on this thumbnail. Thank you so much for watching and we'll be back in just a few weeks with more tips, tricks, and shortcuts here on Kin Community.